gospel is a ritual. <coughs> the ritual of song, of resting, of too much rum. The ritual of losing one's home when the eviction notice knocks on the door. The ritual of laughter, of showing up, of breaking bread, of speaking in the dark, of raising the dirt, of chanting, I don't know, I don't know, of breathing when you are running out of time, of face to face again. The ritual of coming together as black women when we were never meant to survive. This is the spirit that reveals of house full on the streets, in open lots, lakeside and bedside, storefronts and alleyways, and the living rooms of our Oakland homes where we want to stay. something he shouldn't have been doing and paid for it with his life. <clears throat> it's just so unfortunate because it's just a sobering reminder that young black men in this country have no room for error. Turn 
turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. Ain't gonna let no hatred turn me around. I'm gonna keep on walking, walking. keep on talking. talking. I'm gonna build a brand new world. Our work is rooted in ritual in storytelling, and a deep love and curiosity about people and humanity. Our work is about bringing folks together and asking questions that reveal our mutual vulnerability. Every creative process, every performance and gathering begins and ends with ritual. Are there any images of black women resting? She just asked the question. And I started to weep because I couldn't think of a single image of a black woman at rest mm -hmm. and having dreams. I could not, and I decided I would Google it. Because we, you know, if it's out there, Google going to put it up, right? <laughs> when I did black women resting, the first thing that popped up was a lot of white women lounging and resting. And all of us have bought into the military, industrial, white male, patriarchal, all of us, all of us can't wait to talk enough about how busy we are. We got this project, that project. We're doing this, we're doing that. Oh, I want to go. I'm hustling. Stay woke, blah, blah. We can't wait because we think that is what is making us powerful. And we think that is what is making us special. Okay? But in fact, it's killing us. Black people sleep the least in American culture. And scientists and therapists are now starting to understand that lack of sleep helps exacerbate and bring on Alzheimer's, high blood pressure, heart attack. If you're diabetic, it exacerbates that. So Amara and I and all these beautiful black women, we said we are going to create a place where black women can rest and be at peace. Maybe we can only do it for a week, but we're gonna do it. This is the beginning. This is only the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning of the healing. The divine feminine is rising like a phoenix. Yeah. From the ashes of 520 years, rising up. Yeah. Rising up. And why are women sleeping in an undislocated secret location? Why? Because we have to hide and guard them. So people do not come to them for their energy and their medicine. This is what it's come to. So, this is what this is the medicine. This is the opening. This is the medicine. This is the opening. Mother Harriet. Mother Harriet Tubman, right here, right now with us. Right here, right now. She had the medicine of sleep. She had the medicine of dreaming. She 
has the medicine of God, she is right here. She is right here right now with us. We're thanking you. We're thanking the ancestors. We're thanking the directions. We are here to acknowledge and celebrate your work and give you thanks, Amara and Ellen. May your resilience be fed tonight profoundly. We give you thanks. We swim in the gratitude of your existence. And we ask you to turn up the volume full blast on your self-care and your self-love. I am your elder. I get to demand it. So right here, your community, as your witnesses, give your word that you're going to turn up that volume on your self-care and your self-love, no matter what. And I'm holding everyone here in community accountable. Yes, you're the witnesses. You're the witnesses. And you're the voices of reminding each other to rest and to sleep and to heal. Because the real restoration happens when the body is in REM state, when the body is in dream state. It is so important. It is so important. And we have been colonized to overdo and overwork. Yes, yes, yes. What is in front of us is healing. It's a healing that only can be healed to be healthy and resourceful in this world. You must fight for the right to You must. You must. You must. Mother, Father, God, Spirit, Holy Mother, Holy Father, we have spoken. We have spoken and we have blessed these community healers, these community artists that have carried the burden of the community in so many ways for so many years. And let this healing be permanent and sustainable. Because right here, the witnesses in this community, we make it so. We make it so. We make it so. We ain't going to stand for anything less. We protect black women. We protect the right of black women to rest, to rest, to rest. So next time you see a black woman, I am going to implore you to ask her what she needs. Not what you can get. Not what you can have. That is our responsibility. All women of color first. And black women have to be first because of the pillars of oppression are held up by racism that is targeted African American folks. We bring down that pillar, it's all coming down. Okay. Okay. Please sit and rest. So one of the places that we are least comfortable with decolonizing is the soul. To decolonize the soul. And if anything else, those are the words, that, that's the phrase that comes to me with this, this project and this ritual, this collective ritual. As the place has been set and the guardians placed, the pillars of protection to give black women permission to dive deeper into their own souls, to dive deeper into the places of their heart that require, need attention. So in the blessing of these pillows and sheets, this is what we're calling in. We're calling in the protection so that you have permission to go deeper within. You have permission to allow your soul to restore itself. It is brilliant beyond measure. Your ancestral guides are brilliant beyond measure. All we have to do is give them some room, give them some space, slow down. Seek help in water. Anchored to the ocean floor, but moving, reaching for the sunlight. Part of the water where the sunlight penetrates, we call her Yamaya. Uh -huh. Many daughters of Yamaya in this circle. Mm -hmm. Seek out moving in an easy current. And so when you come, and I'm going to give you your note, please imagine that you're gifting that to the women in the circle. Like a hand on the shoulder or a hand at their back or whisper in the ear of how amazing they are and how you support them and you see them. But the intention is ease. Mm -hmm. 
So the kelp in the water, moving, anchored to the ocean floor. Easy, unhurried, untroubled, it knows what it is. That's the ease we are gifting our family. It's a rolling hum. When you get to the end of your breath, please inhale and hum again. Our opportunity to lay hands, so to speak. We're laying voice, voice on skin, like soft rain. Sisters who are going to be dreaming, please just receive. If you wish to hum, you may. But if you just want to be enveloped in it, just allow yourselves to be enveloped. of your breath, inhale and hum again. And hold them in that. Hold them and know, as my people used to say to me, what you do to anyone, you do to yourself. Mm. So of course, this is just circling around and around and around and around. The intention is also landing back on your skin. 